Hey there everyone, I'm Balkifanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! Last time we saved Mary's friend, Rudy, and we fought our first... Uh, <coughs> boss. Yeah, boss. That was supposed to be a boss. <laughs> and of course, Rudy also joined our party. And I will quickly go over her as a character, but I'm not gonna do it here. I'm just gonna move on and talk about her as we go. Anyway, so also last time Rudy asked us if we wanted to know what lens are, but she didn't really say much. Well, when you go down the stairs at the inn, you will have this little conversation with the lens girl. Poor girl, called lens and all. Boo. Welcome! Can you please explain the lens recycling system to this country boy? And I really like that they actually have a little arrow over Stan there. <laughs> Just to clarify that, yes, they're, they're talking about him, not the country boy that's actually playing this game. <laughs> you don't have to keep on calling me a country boy, you know. Just be quiet and listen to her. Okay, fine. I'll be happy to explain. Okay. At Operon Corporation, we buy a lens from people in order to manufacture our fine line of lens products. Wait. Yes? What is it? Can you start by explaining what lens are? Yeah, that would actually be nice. Sure, lens are a type of energy generating device. The name comes from its shape. They're round and about 2.5 inches in diameter. The most commonly accepted theory says that lens are a technological legacy left by an ancient civilization. Ooh, fancy. Moreover, no one has been able to clearly understand its scientific properties. Oh, whatever. I don't care as long as it can be exchanged for money. Yeah. Rudy is actually incredibly money hungry, uh, but I'm gonna go over that when we go. <laughs> Lens are usually found in ancient ruins. However, some monsters have them inside their bodies. Yeah, some monsters. Yeah. Since our company uses lenses as energy source for our products, they are high in demand. We buy them at a reasonable price from Let's Hunters. Lens hunters? They're adventurers like us who hunt monsters to get lens. Hmm, that actually sounds like a decent way of life, to be quite honest. You get to travel a lot, hopefully, and you're gonna get so over leveled. <laughs> the lens are processed in a factory at our headquarters and turn into useful products. Oh, useful is right. The products are then distributed and sold through retail outlets. Hmm, interesting. Now, would you like to take this opportunity to purchase a lens product for your family? We're not here to buy anything. We, we want to exchange lens for gold. Sure, I'll be happy to help. Okay, let's see how much we get. You have 186 lens. Our exchange rate is 3 gold per lens, so you re you'll receive 558 gold. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Is that alright? Your rate is kinda low. A large quantity of lens were purchased recently, so we have an excess supply of them right now. Therefore, their rate is temporarily low. Would you still like to do the exchange? Sure, that'd be fine. Thank you very much! And we get the money! Sweet! We look forward to serving you again soon. Yeah, it's actually quite random what the exchange rate is. And as Rudy said, 3 is a little low, but uh, I can't remember what the highest is. Um, well, the lowest is obviously 1. If it's not 0, I don't really remember. <laughs> but let's see, if I talk to her again... Uh, no, I want to buy. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you can also buy lens products, but I don't, we can, I don't think we can do that right now. As I said, it's been a while since I played this game, so I don't remember right now, but... I'm sorry, but I, I pretty rarely use those Legends products anyway, so... <laughs> I don't really I don't really care much. But before leaving this town, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. I was supposed to do that before I started this episode, but... Uh, since the Lens Lady wanted to tell us about Lens and all, I decided I'm gonna wait with that a little bit, so... I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping, and I will meet you guys right here. 
So, yeah, see you guys after my shopping spree! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not really a shopping spree, but I went and I bought some more armor for Rudy. That's really all I did. I got a beret and two capes for her. Now, you don't need to buy two capes for her, because I know that we will be able to buy the upgraded capes in the next town, but I did, just did it because the enemies on the world map can hit a little bit hard. I also, yeah, I also gave the flame disc to Atwhite, because Atwhite needs a little help in the, well, in the power department, and, uh, well, since the Mlows already have fireball, so I decided that Atwhite should probably get it just so Rudy have a attacking spell too, for now at least. By the way, I want to check. Yep, as you see, Dimlos is now actually a lot stronger than he was when we first got him. If you remember, he had 5 slash and 5 thrust attack. Now he is actually stronger than all the weapons we have. Maybe not stronger than the... Uh... I'm actually gonna check. Uh... He got more thrust attack, but not more slash attack than the Saber, so yeah, that, you see, it's not really worth buying any new weapons for the Thorian users. Anyway, so, bye bye Janos, and hello... Uh, ha battles, yeah, battles. <laughs> now, I'm actually gonna show this battle because there's something that I haven't really gone over. I have no clue why I didn't tell you guys, but... Now that we have three melee attackers in our party, and if you ever see that Rudy and Mary just stands on the end of the screen not doing anything, what you need to do is press the L1 button, and they will come running up to you. Anyway, this is probably one of the worst world maps I have ever seen. On the PlayStation, that is. The world map in Final Fantasy VI on the Super Nintendo looks better than this. And don't come here and say that, but the PlayStation might not be able to handle a good world map. Yes, yes it can. Go play Final Fantasy IX. That world map is awesome. <laughs> anyway, as you see, when you wait for a little while on the world map, on the little uh, side, as it says, the little side uh, window there. You see that our party member starts doing stuff. Stan is fist pumping, Mar Mary is sleeping, and Rudy is... Vulgar thrusting. I don't really know. <laughs> anyway, I will say that I do like the world map music, though. Anyway, though, if you want to level up, this is actually a pretty good place to do it. The enemies on the world map right now gives decent amount of experience and lens. So, yeah, go right ahead. You probably already know, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Most monsters do indeed drop lens so you can sell. So, not only do you get money, you also get lens. So, very nice. Anyway, so, when we're going through the world map here, I think I'm gonna go and talk a little bit about Rudy. Oh, giant bees! Bees, my god! <laughs> and also, yeah, kick attack. I completely forgot I had that. It's exactly as the same as the one Kles got in Fantasia. So, yeah, nothing really new. But, uh, yeah, Rudy. She is a greedy, money-hungry lens hunter. She always puts herself in front of everyone else. And... The only thing she thinks about is treasure, treasure, money, money. <laughs> I know I make her sound like one of the worst people ever, but uh, sh she's not. I mean, she she's definitely not a good person. <laughs> but uh, you'll see later on that she she got some good in her. The only problem is we have to see that she got a lot of crap in her before we see that. Yeah, a little sad, really. <laughs> oh my, snake and owls! Oh my god! Snakes, my god! Yeah, been worth the world. <laughs> anyway, for those wondering though, yes, the lenses we collect in this game is indeed the same as the ones we collected in Tales of Eternia. So we actually have a cameo collectible, <laughs> which I actually really like. 
And maybe we also get to see a different lens-ish cameo later on. Winky winky nudgy nudgy. <laughs> yeah, that's actually supposed to be African town. It looks like Monopoly pieces, but no, it's actually a town. <sighs> Seriously, I, I will say they went... They, they were very lazy with the world map. We're finally here. Yeah, because that took so long. Walt's house is the largest mansion in the back of the village. Well, thank you. But before going anywhere, I'm go also going to talk about Rudy's Sordian at White. Excelsa's piercing the foe. That sounds wrong, but <laughs> anyway. At White is the Sordian of Water. Yes, all the Sordians have an element. As we already see, Dimlos is fire elemental, and at White, water, which also means ice elemental. And Atwhite is all actually also the only female Sordian. Yeah, uh, so that is pretty fitting that Rudy got it them, I suppose. Atwhite isn't really the most powerful Sordian to attack with, but Atwhite is probably one of the most useful Sordians because Atwhite will give Rudy healing spells, a lot of them. So, yes, we're now going back to the female character is the healer. If you go into spells on Rudy now, you see she actually already have first aid, the healing spell. And she will also later on be the buffer of the party. She will get spells like sharpness and barrier. And she will also, of course, get spells to take away status effects and stuff like that. And, of course, also <laughs> some water and ice elemental spells. So... Even though At White isn't the strongest Sordian, it's a damn, damn good one. <laughs> I actually really, really like At White a lot. Not only because the healing, but also because it looks... It looks very nice, and because of At White, I rarely take Rudy out of my party. Anyway, this guy going around on over here. This is Uncle Bob. Yeah, he is Stan's uncle. Hey, st hey, it's you, Stan. I never thought we'd meet here. Let me help you, I'll give you some money. Okay, so this is a little bit funny. If you accept, he will give you 10 gold. If you refuse, he will give you 10 lens. And if you ask for more, he will give you 15 gold. But he says, I, but he say, I will, I never want to see you again. <laughs> so, the smart thing to do to get the most out of this, refuse. Okay, I'll give you this. And you will get 10 lens instead. Now, with the exchange rate that we already seen, Uncle Bob just gave us 30 gold instead. So, that's actually very nice. And I'm stuck, thank you. I will say though, I really like this town. It's very calm and cozy. <laughs> and. I believe this is the lens lady again. Yep, a lens clerk. No, I do not want to exchange. But I do want to talk to this guy. This is the weapon shop owner, of course. So let's see, do they have anything good? Of course, once again, do not buy weapons for your Sordian users. I don't think I need to say that then many more times, but I will probably do it. But we do want to buy a hand axe for Mary. And we also want to buy three leather gloves for each character. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> and there we go. So let's equip it. Leather glove. It's not a huge upgrade, but it's better than nothing. And leather glove. And also, of course, give Man Mary the hand axe. Now, I actually prefer Mary using the axes because I, I think they fit her. Don't really know why. I just think it does. <laughs> And this is the... yeah. Yo, how's it going? And from this guy, we want to buy six leather capes. As I said, you don't, you don't really need to buy the capes for Rudy or... Really, you don't need to buy capes at all back in Janos, but... I like to do it just because the enemies on the world map can hit pretty hard. And let's equip those two. I'm sorry, this is not that exciting. But when I buy new stuff, things are not supposed to be exciting. <laughs> Actually, it is. And before ending this off, or before going to Walt's mansion, 
I want to go over one last thing, and that's the food in this game. You see, on the bread it says food sack value 10 and 20 for cheese. What is the food sack? No, it's not your stomach. You see, uh, down in the right corner there, it said it says food zero of 200. Remember way back on the Draconis, we got that apple. And it also got the food sack value 10. You want to put the food in the food sack? Yes, we do. And now we have it in the food sack. The, now, the food sack is an interesting little item. Which is only in this game, is Remake and the Super Famicom version of Fantasia. You put food into the food sack, and when the party is hurt, and you walk around in a dungeon, and I believe also the world map, your party members will eat the food, and they will heal. So, it's actually pretty helpful. Personally though, I, I think it's a good system, it's just that I prefer the cooking in later games, really. Anyway, so... I could end this off now, as I said I would, <laughs> but let's explore this town a little bit, shall we? There's a cat thing here. Kitty cat, huh? Two, three, four, uh, four, four, <laughs> aw, cute. Uh, um, four, um, seven, eight, <laughs> aw, it's always cute listening to kids try to count sometimes. Now that little kid is playing hide and seek, so how about we go down here and we completely destroy the game by finding the one person that is actually hiding. <laughs> it's a wabbit. Oh, you found me! I'll give you this, so don't tell anyone I'm here. And we get a free life bottle. Shh, don't say anything. So we need to be very, very quiet. The kitty cat is hunting wabbits. <laughs> I'm completely sure that's what they're going for. Oh yeah, <laughs> hunting wabbits. Good luck, kitty cat. Anyway, here's the inn. Welcome, welcome. I'm sorry, but we're all booked up today. Um, uh, okay. So, hmm, interesting. So the f inn is actually booked, or fully booked. We can't sleep in the inn, at the inn. That's a little surprising for a RPG, I will say. And then we have this guy. Hey, do you want a treasure? You really, really want to say no to that. Uh, okay then, never mind. You see that little treasure chest down there? If you say yes and you go and take it, it will have a green gel in it. And then the kid will scream and say, you stole my treasure! And then he will steal all. And I mean all of your money. And you don't want to do that. <laughs> I remember doing that on my first playthrough and I got so pissed. Anyway, here we got Heisenberg's... I... No. Here we got Walt's Mansion, which we are gonna enter next time. So, uh, I know nothing really very interesting happened in this episode, but next time, I promise, more stuff will happen. <laughs> so I thank you all for watching and I see you all then.